Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Ash, the Frost Archer. Ash is a long-ranged marksman who specializes in heavy-hitting critical strikes and kiting enemies with ice-enchanted arrows. With exceptional lane and crowd control, Ash excels as a primary damage dealer while initiating fights or assisting allies from across the map. Ash's passive is Focus. Whenever Ash isn't using basic attacks, her critical strike chance increases over time, reaching a maximum of 100% faster at higher levels. Ash's first basic attack consumes the critical strike bonus from Focus, but casting ability won't reset it. Frost Shot causes each of Ash's basic attacks to slow enemy movement speed while consuming mana on each hit when toggled on. Toggle Frost Shot on to keep enemies at bay or to hold them in range to pick up a kill. When using Volley, Ash blankets the target area in a cone of arrows. Each arrow stops on the first enemy hit, dealing physical damage and applying the slow from Frost Shot. No more than one arrow can hit a single enemy in a volley. Far off targets can dodge the attack by ducking between arrows or hiding behind other units. Since Volley inherits the slow from Frost Shot, it won't freeze enemies if Frost Shot hasn't been leveled. Hawk Shot has a passive and active effect. Passively, it grants her bonus gold whenever she kills an enemy. When activated, Ash sends out a Hawk to a target location, revealing the surrounding area, including Brush, but not invisibility for a few seconds. Hawkshot has a very long range, allowing her to scout key map locations or check for incoming threats. Ash's ultimate Enchanted Crystal Arrow fires a giant arrow off in a target direction. This arrow travels indefinitely until it collides with an enemy champion or flies off the map. If it connects, the arrow shatters on impact, damaging and stunning the champion it hits, while slowing and damaging areas in the surrounding area. The stun duration varies greatly, gaining intensity the farther it travels across the map. At the start of every game, Focus can guarantee a critical hit as long as you don't attack any enemies on your way to the lane. This makes Ash particularly potent in a level 1 teamfight. Here, Ash uses Volley and the critical hit from Focus to instantly take out nearly half of Tristana's health and help secure first blood. Early game, Volley is Ash's primary source of burst damage and helps apply pressure on lane opponents. Since Volley isn't tied to her basic attack, she casts it immediately after hitting Ezreal to bully him away from the minion wave. Though it lacks the burst damage of Volley, Frost Shot is another excellent tool for harassing enemy champions. Here, Ash uses it to establish lane dominance over Graves, tagging him with additional attacks as he attempts to disengage. Frost Shot and Volley also make a destructive combo when combined. Here, Ash slows Ezreal to prevent him from chasing Thresh. As soon as he attempts to escape through the brush, Volley keeps him locked down long enough for Ash to catch up, closing out the kill before turning to Zyra. Although it's primarily used for scouting, Hawkshot's also an important tool for sticking to an enemy that's attempting to juke. Here, Ash reveals Blitzcrank as he attempts to use the brush to cover his escape, allowing her to connect an additional Frost Shot to continue the chase. Ash's strong cutting abilities also enable her to play more aggressively in lane. When Darius comes to gank, she's able to disengage, keeping enemies at bay by spamming Frost Shot and Volley. Ash soon becomes the aggressor again, using Frost Shot to keep the chase once Darius overextends. Ash helps finish off Darius when her lane partner lands the hook, and then turns the pressure to the enemy carry. Flashing to safety, she immediately follows up with Frost Shot and Volley to keep Ezreal from escaping as Shun arrives to close out the kill. Once Ash hits level 6, the extreme range on Enchanted Crystal Arrow makes Ash a global threat even when she's still farming. Here, Ash converts a 2v2 fight at mid into a 3v2 without leaving her lane. When the arrow hits Katarina, her allies grab an easy kill, forcing Diana to fall back to the protection of her turret. Whenever you're recalling, check the status of your teammates. While you're in base, Enchanted Crystal Arrow has a clear shot down all three lanes. As Shen retreats from Vladimir, Ash lands a nice long-range arrow, stunning him alone under the turret. The long stun duration allows the turret to kill him from almost full health as Vladimir tries to run away. As her teammates gather to attempt Dragon, Ash uses this opportunity to hawk shot and scout for enemies. Spotting the incoming enemy team, the reveal gives her teammates enough warning to reposition and initiate onto Thresh, as Ash follows up with Enchanted Crystal Arrow. The area of effect slow from her ultimate keeps the opposing team grouped up while she lines up her first volley. Ash cleans up this fight using the slow from Frost Shot to prevent any escape and casting volley each time an opponent attempts to break line of sight around terrain. Ash runs into Vayne while attempting to help Fizz steal the enemy blue buff. Using Frost Shot to slow Vayne's pursuit, Ash expects Vayne to dive after Fizz for the kill. 
Instead, Vayne flashes over the opposite wall, almost making a clean getaway. Using Hawkshot and the vision from allied minions, Ash aims at Chana Crystal Arrow to stun Vayne and get in range for a final volley. Late game, Ash becomes a nearly uncatchable kiting machine. With enough attack speed, she can hold any enemy at bay nearly indefinitely. Here, Trundle makes a futile attempt to chase down Ash and Oriana, but can't make any headway thanks to their combined slows. When building Ash, try an offensive mix of damage, attack speed, and mobility to complement her freezing spells. Remember that the guaranteed critical strike from Ash's passive makes Infinity Edge a particularly enticing buy thanks to the increased crit damage. For runes, try attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist glyphs, and lifesteal quintessences. For masteries, try 2109, taking attack speed, damage, and critical strike bonuses in offense, along with mana regeneration and summoner spell cooldowns in utility. For summoner spells, try Barrier or Cleanse and Flash, which will allow you to survive in teamfights by running away or removing crowd control. Thanks for tuning in to the Ash Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.